found it. Just about here. Just, just there. That's where I saw it. So you must be asking yourself, what am I doing hanging around street corners day after day? Because I've literally been going back every day for about the last week. Well, the reason being was I was driving to work about half past five the other morning. And out the corner of my eye, I spotted a record by the side of the road. I was going to drive on by, but then curiosity got the better of me. I literally couldn't have lived with myself if I hadn't got out and checked out what that record was. And this is that record. It's Christmas in Motown, and this is what it says. In the Motor City, a special party has taken place, gathered together under one roof expressly to offer you their yuletide compliments of the members of the world-famous Tamla family. Listen to Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, the Supremes, the Jackson Five and the Temptations, singing a fine selection of the Christmas songs, all dedicated to the furtherance of festive harmony. This literally was a gift from God. It had fallen from the sky. It was raining records. And I've been going back each day, hoping that I'm going to get some vertigo swirls or rare US psychedelic records falling from the sky at the same place, though it's not happened yet. But still, I will enjoy this free record at Christmas with a nice glass of whiskey and a roaring fire. So... This was the first free record I got this month. And I say the first free record because over the month, I've only bought a couple of records. But I've acquired quite a few and all of them have been free. And they've all been free from different sources. So let me talk you through some of my other freebies for the month of September. So this next lot that I'm going to show you, I got a phone call from my sister about a week ago. And my sister's just moved into a new house, or had moved into a house a period of time ago, but she has been renovating it and getting it all done up. So it's quite an old house. It's a big house. And like I said, she spent a long time renovating it and getting it the way she wants. But she um, went up into the loft to clear out a lot of stuff in the loft that the previous owners had left. And she found a bag, a bag with records. So she phoned me and said, Jack, would you like some free records? That's a no-brainer for me. Of course, I would like some free records. So she posted them up, and I received them the other day. And this is what I got. So you'd probably be thinking that if you receive free records or you find records in your loft, I was fully expecting folk records, Scottish country and dance records, and music of that ilk. But I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised. So this is what my sister sent me up. Thank you very much, Martin. I got The Smiths, The Queen is Dead. I've already got a copy of this, but yeah, fantastic condition. Perfect condition. A tre totally tremendous album. Obviously, everybody knows this. The Queen is Dead, frankly, Mr. Shankly. My favourite, Big Mouth Strikes Again, probably my favourite Smith song. Yeah, just Cemetery Gates, the whole album's Absolutely fantastic. This is a reissue from about 2017. And the newer records in this lot are all from round about that time period. There's a mix of old and new. So, yep, yeah, I got The Smiths, The Queen is Dead. This is probably the pick of the bunch for me because I don't have this on record. I absolutely love the Pixies. Doolittle's one of my favourite albums of all time. Lovely, lovely copy of Doolittle, a nice textured sleeve. All of the albums have all the inserts. They're all in good condition. So, yeah, I was really, really pleased to to get this. It's one of, like I said, one of my favourite albums. See, my favourite songs on Doolittle. What would it be? I love Crackety Jones. I love Mr. Greaves. Douge Away. Douge Away is my favourite song on this. Absolutely fantastic. I love the Pixies. Pretty much near mint copy. I think this is like an 80s reissue of Bob Dylan's Street Legal. I used to have this when I was younger. I've not had a copy for, for ages. But yeah, some great songs on here. I love Changing of the Guard. It's really good. My favourite song on here, though, is Is Your Love in Vain. 
which always kind of reminds me of Oasis, whatever. It's got that same kind of descending um, kind of organ part. Yeah, really pleased to, to pick up a copy of Street Legal. Blink-182, California. So this is an album that I don't know. I had a copy of this once before. It was coloured vinyl, and it was worth quite a lot of money. Um, I don't think that this is probably my cup of tea. But again, I'm not complaining for free. I'll give it a listen and um, see how it goes down. Out of all the records that my sister sent up to me, this is probably the record in the worst condition. So there's a little bit of edge wear. Yeah, all the other ones are pretty much in mint condition. Okay, this is really, really nice. So a copy, a copy of Sergeant Pepper. This is a kind of 80s reissue. Again, it's got all the, it's in like mint condition. It's got all the, the cards. I thought there was just one of those cards in here, but this one has two. Is that normal? Does it normally have two cards? I thought, I thought it just came with one. But this one's got two. Um, records in perfect condition as well. Really, really nice. So, yeah, lovely stuff. I'll just show you that label. It's one of these black Parlophone 80s ones. So, yeah. Great to pick that up. Okay, Queen, A Day at the Races. It's got this big sale now sticker on it. But again, the vinyl is absolutely perfect. This has got a little bit of edge wear to it. An album that I don't have. All in Great Nick. This again, it's a mid 80s reissue. Lovely, lovely condition as well. So it's got the full booklet in here. Which you've seen lots of times before. But yeah, to get this for, for free is amazing. It's my favourite picture. But yeah, brilliant. Again, it's on that um, black Parlophone label. Okay, another nice one. Um, Legend, the Bob Marley compilation. Again, in just tip-top condition. Really, really good. This is packed with cracking songs. I've got this in CD already, and I picked up like, a kind of beat-up copy of this quite recently, but um, yeah, this is in, in tip-top condition. Some more newer stuff. Kaiser Chiefs, Education, 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 and War. And this is like a, a limited edition version with this single as well. Extra Tracks User Guide. So I'm not really a Kaiser Chiefs fan, but I'll give this a listen and see what it's like. But yeah, again, to get it for free is, is fantastic. Then my sister sent me this up, Linkin Park. Again, another band that I'm not really overly into. Yeah, fantastic to get it for, for free, Hybrid Theory. Then a mint copy of Hotel California by the Eagles. Tip top again. Oh, this one's a bit of a shame. So there's a copy of Nirvana, Nevermind. Don't actually have a copy of Nevermind on record. As you can see, the record's all good. It's a bit dusty, but there was no outer sleeve with it. I need to tell my sister to do better next time. The next time she sends me up free records, I need the outer sleeves as well, especially if it's a copy of Nirvana, never mind. So, yep. Yeah. And also got a lovely copy of the Beatles Blue album. Again, I think this is... I don't think I've checked this one, but I'd imagine it's a, a mid-80s reissue. But yeah, really good as well. So 
Thank you, Martin. So kind of you to send those records up to me. Um, what I find, you need to get up into your loft more often and see what else you can dig out up there. So thanks again. Next lot of free records. Um, my next door neighbours, they run a pop-up charity shop and they got some records um, donated, which never sold. I think they do their pop-up charity shop for about three weeks. They get a little shop, fill it with lots of things, and things that don't get sold at the end of the three weeks go to Murray Wastebusters. So normally if they've got bigger items, I've got a trailer, and my neighbour will ask me to, um, if I'll take all the things that don't sell to Murray Wastebusters, which is like a kind of recycling centre, where you can take things and donate to them. So, um, yeah, there was lots and lots of stuff to put in my trailer and take away. And he said, we got a couple of records that didn't sell. So um, you're welcome to take them if you would like. So, of course, I love free records. So this is the first one. The Petula Clark album. Can't go wrong with a bit of Petula Clark. This has got great songs on it. I love Downtown. It's so good. Fool on the Hill. One Mills of Your Mind, I love that song. A Groovy Kind of Love, My Funny Valentine. Um, hey Jude, Strangers in the Night, Where Did We Go Wrong? Just loads of classics. So I actually do quite like Petula Clark. So I've spun this a couple of times already. So I've got this one. But the other one that I got for free was um, really, really good. And an album that I've been after for quite some time. And it is... Gunfighter Ballads by Marty Robbins. So I've listened to this loads um, since I got it. It's really, really good. If you've not heard it, it's brilliant. It's like lots of old trail songs. But yeah, Big Iron, you've probably heard Johnny Cash doing. Um, cool Water's really good as well. They're Hanging Me Tonight is great. They're all quite um, kind of tales of the old frontier. I kind of, a man and his horse who would nothing be his. Um, six shooter for company, but yeah, it's really good. El Paso is excellent as well, but yeah, this is this is excellent. So I was so pleased to get a copy of this, and it's a really really nice copy as well. So that was my collection of free records. Very very lucky to pick those up. I also bought a couple of records, so this is what I bought, and I got these for an absolutely unbelievable price as well. You keep checking, you never know. And what a deal this was! I was so so chuffed to pick these up because it's from an artist that I've been after for quite some time. I got this. I think this is Alexei Murdoch's second album. It's called Time Without Consequence. And if you don't know Alexei Murdoch, he's like a Scottish singer-songwriter. Very, very, very much in the vein of Nick Drake. Lovely acoustic um, guitar playing. And really lovely, nice finger picking. He's got a, a really um, sweet voice as well, kind of sounds like Nick Drake. And that first song here is called All My Days. You might have heard that song if you're familiar with the movie with the big robots that batter one another. Uh, what was it called? Real Steel with the boxing robots with Hugh Jackman. So that song features in that movie. It's such a beautiful song. That song especially sounds like Nick Drake. And I think if Nick Drake's estate heard it, they would certainly sue because, um, yeah, that's very Nick Drake-esque. But I'm so, so chuffed to pick this up because I was, even if it had just been black vinyl, but this is, I was really surprised that this is the reissue, the US reissue on this lovely mint vinyl. And strange to see this turn up in Scotland. Yeah, this alone, I think, probably goes for about £80, £90. I think it was a limited edition. Is it Newbury Comics um, that put out the limited edition? But yeah, it goes for about £80, £90. I paid an absolute fraction, and I didn't just get this as part of the deal. I also got this. It's Alexei Murdoch, I believe, his first album, which I'm not so familiar with. This is a limited edition reissue as well on this fancy orange vinyl and um, I'm really looking forward to digging into that as well. They're both mint condition. I asked the girl why she was selling them and she said they were a present from an ex-boyfriend 
So, um, yeah, it was definitely my gain because she sold me both of these for, I think it was just a bit over £20, £25. This one alone goes for about 40 This is a lot, lot more. And I didn't think that I was going to be able to pick up a copy of this because when it was reissued in 2022, they went really quick and they're very, very difficult to, to get a hold of, certainly for a, a reasonable planet price. So to get the two of them for like £25 was unbelievable. And she said in her advert, looking to sell these nice and quick and I will not negotiate on the price. And I thought, don't worry, I will certainly not negotiate with you on the price. I'm more than happy um, to pay 25 quid for the two of those. So absolute bargain. Love Alexei Murdoch. If you've not heard him, listen to All My Days. And I'm sure if you like Nick Drake and stuff like that, you'll, you would like him. He's really, really good. So there we go. That was the two records that I bought. The rest have all been freebies. Been a great month so far. Like I said, I've taken my foot off the gas in terms of buying records. Um, there is one that I've got my eye on. I'm going to push the button on, I think, tonight. Um, it's got to be done. But other than that, I'm just trying to listen to what I've already got and enjoy what I've already got and, yeah, um, take a little break from the buying. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, it's not every day that you get free records and it's been nice this month because I haven't been thinking about buying records so much. They've kind of came to me, like I've said. It's been almost like I've been I've been rained upon, but instead of little drops of H2O, it has been big black platters of plastic. Um, so that's been nice. And long may it continue. Until the next time, see you later. Bye for now.